And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. From the gun on third down, Fields buying time to his left. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. They snap it to Fields. He's going to try and go deep again. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jackson now. That's going to be caught. And all the way in for the Ravens. Touchdown. Randy Moss, 30 yards. And the Ravens on one play have taken the lead. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some might say that he's got to look that in and absorb the contact, but even at his size, that's a tough throw to hold on to. He was unable to on that attempt. A play fake, now fields to throw. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. He's going to air one out. And that is incomplete. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. To throw once more on second and 10. Fields flushed out right. He'll take a shot for the end zone. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And the Ravens are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. A big 
play that time through the air. 36 yards. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bears gonna see the football first and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Fields. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll run on first down, Montgomery. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Working with a second and three. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now it's Fields. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 30. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think he's doing okay. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Throwing on second and eight. Jackson steps away to his left. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That looked like a common mistake made by the defense. Sometimes there's confusion, right? They're in zone, so you got to make sure your zones are taken care of. But once the quarterback got out of the pocket, they forgot about their zone discipline and staying in the right parts of the field. That allowed for a big play to happen. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Jackson from the shotgun. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Jackson. And there's a quick throw caught by Andrews. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team, and put points on the board, 
those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Again, it's Williams. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Here's Jackson. Out to his left. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here's Jackson to throw. Rolling to his left. And he's brought down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Williams, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Now it's Jackson on the move to his left. He opted to go with his scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I didn't like was the final decision, to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. Instead, they give the defense an extra timeout. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. Tucker's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Looking for his big receiver, Marshall. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Throwing on third down, Fields escaping the pressure right. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. 